You are special. You are chosen by the Creator. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and you, before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. God loves us and has a wonderful plan for our lives. Today's verse explains very clearly that we are destined. He knows us and planned everything for us before we were even formed or conceived. What we find in our verse today is God telling Jeremiah that he started getting him ready and the world ready for him long before his birth took place. God is telling him that he worked through Jeremiah's father and mother, his grandfathers and grandmothers, even before his great-great-great-grandfathers and great-grandmothers. For generations back, he has been preparing a way and putting the time together to bring him to life. What a remarkable revelation to this young man, that though through this generations of the past, God has begun to work. When we experience challenges, and sometimes our challenges become a real crisis, we always start looking for a program or some method, some type of remedy that helps us to overcome the crisis. When God sets out to solve a crisis, he almost always starts with the baby. All the babies God sends into the world, he looks so innocent and so helpless and so useless at their birth, have an enormous potential. There is nothing very impressive in appearance about a baby, but that is God's way of changing the world. That is what God said to Jeremiah. I have been working before you were born to prepare you to be a prophet, working through your father and your mother and those who were before them. If you read this account as though this were something extraordinary that applied only to Jeremiah the prophet, you have misread this whole passage. I often hear people say of some noted person, when God made him, he broke the mold. That is true. But what we fail to see is that the true of each one of us. God never made another like you, and he never will. God never made anyone else who can fill the place you can fill and do the things that you can do. This is the wonder of the way God forms human life. That of the billions upon billions who have been spawned upon this earth, there are no duplicates. Each one is unique, prepared of God for the time in which he is to live. That is the word which came to Jeremiah to strengthen him. Look, God said, I have prepared you for this very hour as he has prepared you and me for this time, for this world, for this hour of human history. He has prepared us for the time we are living in. He wanted us to be used in the days we are living. He has a perfect divine purpose for us to be born and do all that we are planned for our existence. Do we measure our life significance by worldly approval? Are we committed to following the path of God's choosing? Are we trained in training our children to seek God's direction for their lives? Let's start our day by examining ourselves and asking God to lead us with the Holy Spirit to be able to understand His will and His plan for our lives so we can do things we are made for. For if anyone is a hearer of the world and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in the mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away at once forgets what he was like. Don't forget what you see in a mirror. Instead, live the life to fulfill the task we came to existence. May the Lord bless his word and may he reveal all his plans. This must just give a prophecy to the promises. And the Lord said to Moses, This very thing that you have spoken I will do for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, have you all mighty, wonderful God. Lord, thank you for the reminder in Jeremiah that you formed each one of us in the womb. And thank you that you have scheduled every day of my life. Thank you for the example of Jeremiah the prophet who was willing to suffer hardship, loneliness, pain, and rejection for the furtherance of your will and pen portions of Holy Scripture for our learning. I pray that from this day forward my life may be consecrate, consecrated to you and that you have 
used me to fulfill your will in my life for your greater gl- praise and glory. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a snow if God's going to talk to you tomorrow.